Hey guys, today I'm gonna to talk about the new booster packs at Walmart. Uh, is it worth buying? Now, let me begin by saying people have commented this is fake. It's not fake. And you kind of know it's not fake because you look at the amount of effort it would go to uh, to fake something, a product like this. It would be almost ingenious. And clearly it was good enough of a product to be a real product so what is this product it is available only at walmart and there's 35 cards if you pick the red one if you pick the white one you pick the black one you pick the blue one you let's say let's take for example the white one you pick the white one you can only get white cards and artifacts and lands plus con scion of urza let me repeat that Artifacts, lands, and on color. So it's not guaranteed that it's only white cards. You can also get artifacts. You can also get Con Scion of Urza, which is a very expensive card. Now, which of these packs is worth buying? Of course, it's the white one. You got Lyra, Con. I'm not sure if Teffy is in that set because he is white. So theoretically, he should be available in this booster pack. The problem I see with this uh, is the same problem that happened a few years ago with the commander decks. Uh, there was a commander deck called Mind Seize. The commander deck had one card in it, True Name Nemesis, worth more than the entire deck. You could sell that card on TCG Play for more than you bought the deck, assuming you bought it around MSRP. So of course this caused people to run out and buy every single one of them. And then you had a glut of all the other decks that no one wanted and you had no mind seas. So what happened was they printed more mind seas. And that solved the problem. Will they do this? Maybe. I mean Lyra is a very expensive card and only available in a white booster pack. So let's talk about it. Uh, these are targeted at players who are building their collection or simply want to ensure they get cards their favorite color deck can play. Each card has 35 cards you can play in a deck of that color. So in the blue, you can only open blue cards, artifacts, lands, OK, and con. You can open up rares and mythics in these packs as normal, and sometimes you will even get two. So this justifies the $6.99 price point. Unlike normal boosters, there is no set common to uncommon ratio. One pack might have six uncommons and the next has, one has 10. This is very important if there are valuable uncommons because it's not even... So if you have Fatal Push and you pick the black one, I mean, that this is very good value. Uh, so it depends on the cards in the set. Uh, it all depends on the cards in the set. There's no other way to say it. If the cards in the set has a very valuable uncommon, this pack is definitely worth buying. Like, if it has a six or seven dollar uncommon, yeah, go ham because you get between two to, I mean, ten is even more than three booster packs worth of uncommons, and you know that they will always be black. So there's a very high chance that. Had Fatal Puss been in this set, you would get a Fatal Puss. So now they're talking about uh, card collaboration and uh, how to play it. I think this is very interesting because it it takes casual a casual product and it encourages non-casual players to go to Walmart. Remember, Walmart is the only place that can sell these cards. Now, if you are a grinder or you're looking for value, having a fatal push, my goodness, you would be sending all the people who would normally go to a local game store to go hunt for these in Walmart. How do I know this happens? Because it happens whenever there's a good promo, like Stocking Tiger uh, was a very valuable promo. It was actually misprinted. I do own one of them. Uh, I bought it for some insane amount of money at the time. And even um, promos like the Azula, the Judge promo, 
that you come in the target free packs i mean people love hunting for that and it's a lot of fun it's kind of like an adventure and it's kind of like pop uh, funko pop hunting or hunting for a special product well in this case you're hunting for these white and in this particular case the white booster pack i'm pretty sure is far more valuable than the other colors especially if a white blue planeswalker is considered white that would put I'm assuming Mox Amber, since it's an artifact, can also be in this uh, white pack. But at the very least, you can get Khan, Lyra, and what else can compare to these two? What else can compare to Lyra and the other colors? I don't think anything else. So, a uh, great product. I, do, I hope it does well. It will create an interesting financial situation where you can control when each of these packs has a different expected value. Now I'm going to take a little bit of time to talk about these new products and I these clearly are in Walmart. The Masters products are Walmart. What does that mean for your local game store? Why is Wizard of Coast pushing everyone towards Walmart, even the experienced players? Trust me, the people who are most likely to go over the expected value and grab these mind seizes, right? and grab these white packs that's $6.99 that could have uh, double mythics, right? They are the grinders. They are the dedicated player group, and they're just looking not to spend money at their local game store. This gives them an excuse. The Challenger deck gives them an excuse. Yes, you can buy your local game store, but your local game store is likely to charge a different price for Hazret because they can break down that and sell the singles for more than Walmart. So what happens is the quote elite or more dedicated players will go to Walmart, try to find four of these Hazret decks and then leave the other decks that are not quite as valuable. Although I think the vehicle rust is very good in case you need a second one. I think it's fascinating. Um, it is going to change the way that people buy cards. Uh, it absolutely will because you know the value of the cards. And now you are, it, it's very, it reminds me a lot of Fire Emblem actually, now I think about it. Because even the orb color colors, right? You know that certain cards are in certain uh, colors. And if you don't want care about the other ones because they're not valuable to you, then you just buy the ones that you care about. You just click the orbs and you pay the money to the game that you care about. And you know certain characters are better. They're just significantly better than other characters. So you would never ever pick the color packs that are not good. It would make no sense for you to be like, all right, let me pick this red pack and hope to get no value. So just as there is the uh, higher expected value in some packs, there's going to be very dismal values in all other packs. And no one will ever buy these packs. So I, I don't know. Uh, it seems like a good concept. And it will take a little bit of time to... I feel like this set in particular is interesting because you do have the Lyra. But in the future, a new set with an uncommon so the most valuable uncommon is a artifact in the set but imagine if the, there was a fatal push and you could get any number of uncommons in 35 cards you can get, according to the article you can get 10 of them that is really really good chance of getting fatal push for seven bucks and if fatal push is seven dollars you're never going to find a black version of this booster pack ever in a store, in a Walmart or a Target. Uh, same with the Mind Seas. Like, I never found any Mind Seas. The only time I found one was at Toys R Us, and Toys R Us has this terrible policy of overpricing their Magic cards. So I didn't even buy it because it was like $60. I was like, uh, okay. I can see why no one came to this store. And then later on, it did bankrupt. Uh, FYI. So I like it. I think it's going to do well. And in my opinion, uh, this is another jab at your local game store because the more casual player is now going to have options that they, 
your local game store is not selling this product. They cannot sell this product. Only Walmart can. So if a casual player, and this is meant to appeal to casual players, is interested in a product like this, they can only get it in one place. So they're being taught, oh, hey, every Walmart has a magic section. Oh, hey, this is the place next to all the security cameras where people, when uh, the distributor puts the magic cards. And then there's mystery boxes. I mean, I can go on and on, but this is where we are. And this is the reality. So anyway, bye guys.